This is crazy. Nuts. Awesome. I'm always getting confused about what's over here. What is that? Is that my, oh, that's a, that's that. That is my, my mirror over there. It's insane. Craziness. Snoopy's right up there. Snoopy's killing it. Uh, we're gonna wait a little bit uh, and hope that, you know, this live goes according to plan. Um, uh, we got a few things to talk about. Got a few things, few things to cover, right? Ja, starto. <laughs> starto. <laughs> um, so, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Reggie Casual, from the casual.co. Uh, we have no intro. This is because this is a live. Zevalos! Uh, I don't know why I said your name that long. Uh, are that loud? Pfft, messing up my words. So I just got off of um, Instagram Live. Uh, if you guys don't follow your boy Reggie Casual on Instagram, I do a lot of lives there. It's a lot easier for me to just get my thoughts out. But uh, here on the channel, I try not to do as many lives, but I'm actually going to try to do a little bit more uh, only because uh, it gives us, you know, it gives me more time to like just kick it with you guys. So, uh, that's good. However, I want to talk today, talk to you guys today about um, about something important, and that important thing is, um, hold up, oh, I'm doing a few things right now. Uh, that important thing is how we effed up, how we effed up this whole thing, right? So I've been talking to my peoples. I've been talking to my peoples in um, when it comes to when it comes to the casual and you know, some of the missteps that we had and uh, some of the things that we could do better in the future and that we plan on doing better in the future. So I'm not quitting or I'm not, you know, stopping this whole YouTube thing. I just think that there are things that many of you probably come to the casual for and you're not getting that as much as you used to. And that's a big reason for that is because we've grown a little bit and we feel like we have to talk about any and everything. And I don't think that that's necessary, <laughs> right? I'm starting to really understand like that's not absolutely necessary. Um, so I'm going to go over a few things as far as things that we're going to be making better. Then I'm going to take some questions from you guys. And then, uh, and then, you know, hopefully we can come to a consensus on what this is going to be all about. All right. So first and foremost, we're going to take it back just a, a day ago. <laughs> right. Um, we released a video on your homeboy, the, the shoes, the shoes and the guy that wore the shoes, the, the Satan shoes thing, this whole Satan shoe fiasco. Right. And um, you know how we do things on the casual. We do like to take these these stories and make them more uh, teachable moments. Right. We, we try to make them teachable moments. So people, especially for people who are either starting their own brands or you know, are interested in fashion at an intrinsic at an intrinsic level or just want to really know more about the business and the industry and the stories of the brands that they decide to decide to follow, right? And that's been a big thing for the casual since we started. And uh, that was largely based in Japanese fashion. Now, many of you who've been here for a long time have noticed that, you know, Japanese fashion has kind of taken... We still do a lot of that and we still try to, you know, put Japanese fashion in there, but a lot of the time we don't talk about it. And uh, that is something that we need to rectify. So that's that's one of the big uh, F ups is that more and more I'm, I'm seeing that we are moving away from what makes the casual the casual. And that is the international take on fashion from the Japan perspective. Not just giving you Japanese brands, but just giving you more insight into the world over here. So I think that that's, that's important and we're going to rectify that. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do uh, and how we're going to fix that uh, in the future. So that's one thing. And then um, the next thing, uh, you know, piggybacking off of that little Nas X thing. Um, I didn't, I'm going to be real with you. I really didn't want to do the story. Um... And I think somebody pointed this out a few weeks ago is that they felt 
that we were doing videos for views, right? That we were just doing videos to get people to watch. So we would, you know, we would do things that were almost too clickbaity or too, uh, too popular, too campy. Um, and at first I was like, you know, this is one of the things that we have to, you know, we have to, we have to, we have to do in a way we have to be, you know, we have to get people to watch. We want to grow the community. We want more people to talk about, uh, this fashion, this, this fashion thing that we all love. Like we want to make this, we want to make a community of people that are all like-minded and mature individuals. And the only way to do that is to get more people to watch the channel. Um, but unfortunately, I think that the person who did complain about this is kind of, kind of half right, <laughs> right? Um, we, we have been doing things in, in, a, in a sort of way where it's more about how can we get more people to watch, right? I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and be like, yo, we don't care about that, of course. And it's going to be something that... Um, uh, Sometimes it's it, 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 it's really hard for me to talk about it, right? <laughs> it's really hard for me to talk about it because I know what I know what you know where I stand on it as far as getting more people, um, getting getting more people to to engage with us. But I also know that there's there's a part of me that's just like you know what we gotta we gotta make sure that the people that been with us this long know that we care about what they do right what they think what what they like um they got to know that we're we're down for them and, and and a lot of you many of you probably came here for business some of you probably came here for japanese fashion uh and we want to do we want to do that again like i want to i want to be excited about bringing that to you um uh so that's what that's how we that's how we roll Right. Like we want to give that stuff to you and we want to do that stuff and I want to do that stuff and I want to be more excited about it. So we kind of came to a consensus. I talked to one of my uh, one of my biggest one of my one of the people that I, I consult with somebody I consult with. I have a consultant uh, <laughs> and he was like, yo, man, you can talk about those things. But I think when you talk about certain issues like, say, the Lil Nas X situation, why not do something like a live and get other people involved in the process? Why not talk about it with the community and get their insight and do lives like this where they can have their point of view come across and you are learning at the same time as them. And I was like, wow, that, you know, that's an incredible way to do it. Like when these crazy stories come out, instead of just making, you know, a whole product, you know, a whole produced video on it, why not engage with you guys? So I was wondering if that is something that you guys would like to see, if you would like to see more lives here on YouTube. Um, uh, and, 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 you know, us talk about these, these stories that's, that are, uh, kind of, you know, circulating, um, in, in the fashion industry that we don't necessarily always cover, but they are, they are a lot, they are very, very, um, important, right? Are very important. So, you know, Lil Nas X thing comes out, we talk about it, right? You know, we, we talk about these kind of things and, and, and we engage with you guys and we, we give you guys, uh, you, you know, give you guys that insight. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that, that's what I think is, that's what I think is, uh, important is just to engage with you guys more, whether, and then just keep them on here. So, I love that aspect of talking to you guys. So I'm wondering if that's something that you guys would want to see more lives, more uh, interaction with you guys on a on this kind of level, on this deeper level, uh, because that's something that we want to try, and that's something that we think will be beneficial to the channel in in general. Uh, so that gives us even more uh, reason, um, uh, even more reason to. Uh, you know, interact with you guys. Now, as far as when the lives come out, I think, um, like Professor Trex, he said, yeah, the, uh, the timing would be hard depending on where your viewership lives. We know most of you guys live in the United States. Now, may, not all of you, but we know most of you live in the United States. And we also know that uh, at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. my time, uh, uh, 10 a.m. my time is around 
9 p.m. in the in uh 9 p.m. in in the east coast of the United States, right? So 9 p.m. in the east uh, east coast of the United States. Uh, so Japan time, I will probably be around like 9, 10, right? Uh, where pretty much everybody in the West will be able to watch it besides maybe people from in the, uh, in, in, you know, maybe in Europe. Uh, so I think that that's, that, that, that's fair. Uh, I think that that's fair. I mean, I could do lives at any time, <laughs> right? So, uh, that's, uh, that's something that I think will, um, definitely, uh, be a part of practice as long as we get it in, um, as long as we get it in at a at a good time where you get, we get the most amount of people to uh, engage. So if that's something that you guys want to see, let us know uh, in the comments later or right here on the stream. It seems like a lot of you uh, are kind of like into that uh, as long as the time is right. And I think that that's what most people are worried about. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll put uh, that on the um, on on the in the pipeline, uh, which is great. Uh, and then the last thing, um, outside, right? I know a lot of you have been getting on me specifically about being in the studio all the time. And that is going to be fixed very soon. So one of the videos that we got coming out, uh, that we got coming out is a whole, like we, you know, I went on this Osaka trip. And we have a whole video on me going to Osaka and going to Universal Studios and going to Super Nintendo World, right? Um, and I want you guys to see it, right? So we were, you know, we were debating like, yo, it doesn't really have anything to do with fashion. I'm like, yo, don't, don't worry about that, right? right? Don't worry about that. Just put it out, right? <laughs> Just put it out. Right, uh, just put uh, put put it out. You know, like if you went to Nintendo Super Nintendo World, just put it out, bro. Um, and I was just like, uh, okay, yeah, let's let's do more stuff like that. Um, let, so you know, going outside and doing vlogs, um, we are we are into that right now, um, and that's something that that's something that I think um, uh, <laughs> that's something that I think that you guys will enjoy. Uh, and it'll probably, you know, give us, give you more insight into the world in Japan. Now, we're not always going to be able to go um, to, to Super Nintendo World, but um, uh, we definitely, we definitely think, uh, you know, just going out into Japan would be, uh, would be good for you guys. Uh, so you could see more of that. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh we want to go outside. We want to give you vlogs. We want to give you uh, stuff that uh, is really, you know, just out there, you know, out there, uh, out here in Japan. And so we got all the equipment ready for that. Uh, we're not in a state of emergency anymore over here in Japan. And I I'm able to do, you know, more vlogs and more, um, you know, cinematic vlogs, document, you know, docu-esque series. So I think that that's something that, um, uh, I think that that's something that you guys, um, will enjoy. Uh, so there you go. Um, those are the things that we plan on doing, um, as far as, you know, more into Japan. Uh, we'll probably try to get those out at least twice a month. If we can do more, we're going to try to do more. Uh, and that's going to be pretty fun for all of us. I think, uh, I think that's going to be fun. Um, next. As far as, you know how we like to do series, right? There's there's a few series that we have that are already um, out there. Um, and, you know, because it's good for the channel's brand, but at the same time, you have videos about it. Yeah. Uh, so, there's things that we're going to do, right? As far as, you know, the certain series that we got. And we want to make sure that you guys are getting information and we want to make sure that, you know, we're being informative. That's like the main purpose of what we do here is inform you to give you more insight. So you're like all cultured fashion enthusiasts. All right. So uh, what are we going to do? 
rise and fall series. We're going to tell you about how certain brands did great and how they fall, fell, like what we did with Ed Hardy and Obey. So uh, we're going to do a whole series. We have a whole Monday block. It's going to be like bas basically our business block where, you know, every other Monday we're going to be talking about a rise and fall series, how a brand like grew and how it fell and what happened. Um, and then we are also going to have like basic uh, business series. And so that Monday chunk is going to be a business kind of, um, you know, exposés and just, you know, business videos um, just to, you know, because that's part of what we do. Uh, but on Wednesday, what the hells? You know, what the hell has been a part of the casual since we started, right? And what the hells are going to be like the bread and butter of, of the casual moving forward, giving you guys insight into designers, how things happen with people. Like we have a what the hell on, um, on uh, how Uniqlo beat Zara as the most valuable fashion company in the world. So we have uh, how Rick Owens won the street. We have uh, a video on Nego coming out next week. Um, how Nico changed everything in streetwear. Like we do, uh, we have all these videos ready for for WTH. We got a, we got one on Hiroshi Fujiwara coming up. We got one on uh, uh, Murasaki coming up. We got we got so many. Um, uh, we got so many um, that are coming out that we wrote. We got we got WTHs on on certain fashion styles like Gorp Core. Um, we got certain. Uh, we got a new tech wear one, uh, tech wear one that's coming out. Um, we got a, we got so, we got so many. We got talking about Normcore, talking about deconstruction. Uh, we got so many that are just slated, and I think that you guys are going to love them. One, like we're going to be talking about everything from Gucci to Balenciaga to uh, Bottega, Bottega Veneta. Like we're going to be talking about all of, uh, all of those. Um, uh, and and so you guys will get even more. Uh, yes, we're gonna do white mountaineering in Dice Gabbana, so it's gonna be great. I think you guys are going to love uh, uh, love those. All right, um, uh, yo, there's like no men's JP. <laughs> uh, yes, we're definitely gonna do uh, videos and books and resources for amateurs. Uh, definitely on that casual vlogs uh, section. So we're gonna have three uh, series. Uh, Rise and Fall, WTH, and the JP Fridays will absolutely um, stay where they are. Uh, maybe on those JP Fridays, we'll be covering things that we pick up. Maybe uh, brands that you should check out going outside and all that good stuff. It's going to be kind of like a freewheeling thing that we do on JP Fridays. And in the middle of those, um, in the middle of those, we might come up with like a breaking story, right? Like something comes out and we just talk about it for a sec. Uh, or we'll just do a live on it, right? So that that's basically what we'll try to do and implement. Uh, and uh, for all of you who are, you know, like that kind of stuff, uh, great. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go ahead and give the floor to you guys. Uh, and, you know, if you have any, any, uh, any advice or any suggestions or anything that you would, what else you would like to see, uh, please let it be known. I'm going to be taking your questions over here. I'm looking at two screens at the same time, just in case you didn't know. Uh, so yeah. Um, am I related to Reggie Philippe, the Ninten the former Nintendo guy and former GameStop guy? No, no. <laughs> no, I'm not. Not all Reggies are related. What are you talking about? Um, uh, so <laughs> it is a, and it's weird. Like Reggie, Reginald is a, um, Reginald is kind of a, it's not a common name, but it's common enough that it's 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 rare enough that people are like, "Yo, your name is Reggie." <laughs> like, like, so you think everybody who's named Reggie is like a part of this Reggie group? No, I'm 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 not. I'm not. Uh, yeah, Reggie Philemy is like the king of the Reggies, <laughs> or like Reggie Miller. <laughs> One of those two guys are like the king of the Reggies. Um, GU Undercover comes out April 9th. Yeah, I'm checking that out. Uh, do you watch Push Product? I did. I love what they were doing. Um, I love what they were doing. Uh, so I'm definitely um, into that. How big is the casual team? About eight people. Um, what's Fuji Wada's new store content? I haven't I haven't really been following really. Um, Cruz, don't know your audience split, but would you love to know if you... But would love to know if a podcast weekly interview that focuses on inclusion would work. Uh, lots of amazing voices not covering these days. 
not being covered these days. Um, yeah, Christopher, I, I'm I'm down for that. I, I'm definitely down for that. Uh, we just got to set up the podcast situation. That's all. Um, in depth discussion on your style, or maybe some vid on my fifth. Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> I don't like doing that, but okay. Uh, fashion and video games video. We did that one, but it didn't really do as well as we thought. But maybe. Uh, how about class with other YouTubers? We're looking into that. Um, we got one person who knows he's on the list. We just don't have time because of our timing, right? Uh, and he knows who he is. He's probably watching right now. I would love to see your style, uh, your, a video on your style evolution. Oh, would you? Ha ha ha. I'm curious about your life and your life since you left. Did you have any problems from your family? Also, did your girl uh, catch backlash for being with you? I'm genuinely curious about your life per se. Um, no. Um, my 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 girl's family loves me they they absolutely love me so I, and i really didn't have that big of a problem because i spoke japanese before i came so before i came so it was really easy for me to uh get on with it um get on with you know that whole getting used to japan period was a lot faster than for me because i was um uh, you know i could already speak um I guess more interviews with Japanese now. This should be Japanese subtitles. Like, you should interview Yoji Yamamoto. Yoji Yamamoto, it's a little bit of 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 a little uh, it ain't easy being casual. It definitely isn't easy being casual. <laughs> and it sure ain't easy being keezy. Um, how did Shibuya shopping feel in the COVID world? Still no tourists. Has it been quiet? I actually love what's happening in Japan right now. Uh, we're going to do a WTH on Junior Watano Bay, of course. You guys are going to get that. Uh, but uh, to answer your, answer your question, Professor, man, it's actually been um, my heart. It's been so great because <laughs> it's not crowded, but I expect that to not um, not not continue. But it's been pretty good uh, without people here. But that's not good for Japan. Um, what's the best way to learn Japanese? Listen more than listen and repeat. That that's what you should be doing first. Listen and repeat. Take your favorite show. Listen and repeat. Instead of interview designer, if, I'm more interested if you meet up with fashion fans, collect like you did with LD into HK, maybe you meet UC collector. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would be fun. Golf Wang. I know what you're talking about, man. I like golf. Um, I don't wear it. Uh, any thoughts on the philosophy of fashion? That's a big question. I don't think I'll be able to answer that right now, but we'll um, we'll do that. How do you feel about brands like Youth Loser? And, um, I like newer brands that are doing their thing, um, but... I, I just, it's hard for me to get in them because they're not a part of my, like, general, um, my, what I would wear generally. Um, but I like new, I like, I, know, I like seeing new ideas and different perspectives, so that's me. Yoji Intabaru. Intabaru. Would you ever cover styles different between Tokyo and Osaka, maybe? Mm, yeah, of course. Um... Uh, show. I don't know why they, they put you. Hey, Reggie, can you talk about the downfall of ASSC? Interview, ne? I know, I know. Interview, ne? Um, uh, what do I do to stay up? I typically just. Fashion Snap is like my biggest uh, source, and WWD Japan. So there you go. Um, Videos on Japanese brands that are accessible online globally would be great. Okay. What time is it? It's 1.14. It's 12. Uh, south, to, south to West 8. Oh, we got to talk about that one. I met you in 2017 during a year. Oh, I think we were at a shop. It was one of my favorite experiences. Do you still do that? I don't do that, but thanks, man, for doing that uh, for with me. I don't know if I'm going to do that ever again. <laughs> but it was fun with the people that I did it with, so I'm, I'm, I'm all into it. I might do it independently uh, later on. Um, any bands from Rakuten Fashion Week that killed it? Undercover. Uh, uh, thank you. 
if you could wear one clothing brand for the rest of your life, what would you choose? That's a crazy way of asking me what my favorite brand is. Um, Sakai. I'd probably choose Sakai. I'd probably choose Sakai. Ah, that's a hard one. It's either Sakai Undercover, the Viridian, or um, any you know, poor Om, Yoji, right? It's probably one of those. I, I, like I'm torn between Sakai and the Viridian. That that I'm torn between those two, uh, because I really like the Viridian, uh, and it has almost everything that I would want to wear. But Sakai, I would I would never want to miss on Sakai releases. Um, never. It's just hard. Uh, I just wouldn't want to. Uh, plus, Sakai has pretty much everything, <laughs> right? So I think Sakai wins it. Um, how about a WTH and the work the team puts into research planning? For oh, that would be fun. Um, uh, like, <laughs> yeah, no, that'd be that'd be fun doing a doing a WTH on us spotlight series for up and coming brands from Patreon. That will come. Uh, would love to meet you when I'm able to visit Japan and please, I'm, I'm, I'll talk to you. Um, got a few more and then I'm going to get off. Uh, does some Sakai make underwear though? Um, I'm pretty sure I can find some. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, are you open to meeting with folks who follow the casual if they come to Japan? Um, if they see me. <laughs> no i'm always down to meet people if i have time but a lot of the time i don't have time so uh you gotta you gotta catch me when you gotta catch me when i'm just like down down time uh what are your thoughts on western brands taking on japanese aesthetics like prospective flow and kiriko made um kiriko made um i think i think i don't, I don't have a problem with it i just think that if you're gonna take Japan as as an influence, like go all the way. Like don't just be like, oh, let's, you know, like go all the way. Like go all the way. Like like if you're gonna, I, I think you, and also study Japanese fashion designers. That would probably be better, uh, you'd be better served doing that than just doing something that you think is um, influenced by Japanese culture or whatnot. Uh, How's it being black in Japan? It's kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> how about expanding a bit on highlighting other Asian designers? Yeah, I probably will. We probably will be getting into Korean uh, stuff as well. Uh, um, what about a Japanese blue collar style uniform? I know it'd be silly, but you know what? That, that's actually really cool. Uh, I do think that that, that has some, um, there's something in that. Um, that, that. There's something in that. Uh, do Yaika, Kamoli, Arli, MHL, Graph Paper, those, whew, you're, look at that. <laughs> I know, it's crazy when you say all these brands, I'm like, yeah, I know all these, <laughs> but we haven't talked about them. How often did you travel before COVID? All the time. I at least travel like three or four times a year. Ever witnessed a Hong Kong fashion scene? Yes, I was supposed to go with your boy uh, LD into HK to Hong Kong to do that whole scene with him. We were supposed to go and take a trip, but... COVID happened and that sucked. Um, Kalora Sakai, I'm going with Sakai. Um, uh, has a video on top two that as rarely has any problem with natives. Um, yeah, I, I rarely have problems with natives. Uh, ditto on some content about Boro and traditional Japanese tailoring and design. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Really love the couple of videos that were done outside the studio. We'd love to see more content on about. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. I mean, we can go outside now here in Japan. Uh, thoughts on Capital? Ding, really good. I remember those small uh, small brand reviews you were doing. Yeah, we're gonna do those. Working on Teotora video. Ooh, yeah, maybe. Mikio Sakabe, Grounds. Everyone's wearing those on IG. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about them. Um, how's the COVID situation in Japan right now? I mean, we're out of, we're out of the ridiculousness, so I guess we're okay. But I mean, people are still sick, so you gotta still wear masks and stuff. Um, we touched, oh, you wanna touch on the Urahara history again? Yes, we'll probably do an updated video on that. Thoughts on Popeye, Popeye Magazine? Uh, it's a legendary mag. 
Um, and then I got, I'm going to take three, I'm going to take five more and I'm going to try to get through them quickly. How much does it normally cost to rent a store space in Japan? I'm not really sure. It just depends on the area and how close you are to a train station. Are you going to start going live on YouTube more often? Yes. Just found about perspective flow while browsing around. It looks amazing, but sheesh, the prices. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you down to brand consultant stuff? Yeah. That, you know, yes. Yes. Uh, brand consult outside of fashion. Absolutely. Video blog on Japanese manufacturing, how they work fabrics, etc. <laughs> That's a little bit more uh, intense. Uh, thanks, King James. Um, Will, okay, so final question. Um, final question, pin miss message, uh, and then I'm going to get off. Will you start your own brand? So I know a lot of people have been asking me um, Ken is my dude, just to answer that question. Ken is my dude. We'll probably try to figure something out. Uh, it's all here, <laughs> but no, <laughs> I don't. Will I start my own brand? Um, maybe. No, okay, so here's the thing. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to stop being so vague when we talk talk about this. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. We are starting something. And uh, yes. So yes, we are starting something. Um, because I've been, I will, I've been talking to my lady and she has been pressing me like, yo, you really need to start designing um, you really need to start doing your thing. Um, so people know that you can actually do this. <laughs> so she's been pressing me like forever. Um, and, and now she's, um, and now, and now she's like, yeah, once you get everything, um, everything settled as far as, you know, the channel and everything, everything good to go, uh, let's get it you know, I want you to get in the lab and just start designing. And so, yes, um, it's coming. Uh, and I think you guys are going to love it. Um, I think you guys are going to love it. Right. Uh, so if I could give you any idea of what to expect from it, um, How can I do, how can I say it without giving you the whole farm? All right, so what we, what we are gonna do is, is we are going to take, um, we're gonna take a designer approach to it, right? We're, we're definitely uh, going to take a designer approach to it. So you should expect that. Um, uh, we're not going to, we're not gonna, we're not gonna skimp on the quality. We're not going to skimp on the fabrics. We're not going to skimp on the cut. We're not going to skimp on any of those things. So that's that's big, right? That's that's the big thing. But also, we are going to split the way that we are going to split the uh, split the label is with the designer stuff, right? But there's a big segment that I think is missing out of. Um, there's a big segment of basics that are missing out West. And we want to make high quality basics with a, a particular, uh, a particular cut in mind. So we are going to be doing a lot of that kind of research, right? Um, no, of course, we're not going to pander to, to hide these. That's not what we do. So, Yes, we are going to make, uh, we're, there's going to be a basics part of the label that really is needed uh, for the Western market. Um, and that's, a, that's, that's, that's something that we're working on right now. Um, that's something that we're working on right now. The basic stuff, the samples don't cost that much for the basic stuff because the, uh, um, because they're really simple cut pieces. 
Um, but the way that they're cut are different. It's just different. So we are definitely going to have the basics in 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 uh, in, uh, in in tow for it. So there you go. <laughs> that's that's where we're going now. As far as the design heavy stuff, that I will not lie to you, it's probably going to get up there. Um, but uh, I'm you know my inspirations are. Uh, my inspirations are Chitose Abe, Yoji Yamamoto, Jun Takahashi, Junya Watanabe, um, uh, brands like uh, The Viridian, um, White Mountain Nerding, these, these guys uh, that, you know, Mari, uh, Marihiko, Marihiko Maruyama, the, these designers uh, that inform me. Uh, and I want to take what they do and and somehow create something quite unique uh, that has that maybe has been has been explored, but not to the degree that I think is uh, available out west. So there you go. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So expect that. And also, honey, she you. And Hiromichi Ochiya of Facetasm. Uh, so yeah. Are the missing bases that you're talking about in the same vein as more exploration and fit like the Yoji Zephu experimental silhouettes? I cannot give you that information, Augustus. <laughs> but by not answering it, you probably know what I'm saying. You probably like, uh, yeah. <laughs> you probably already know. Um, uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, thank you. Japanese. So yeah, thank you guys so so much. Um, that's what uh, that's what uh, to, to expect. I think you guys will will love it. I'm already um, I'm already researching pieces and and researching cuts and you know drawing some stuff. So there you go. And that's the way that we'll end it. All right. So thank you guys so much uh, for excuse me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this live, hopefully, uh, you know, more people will watch it after this. And, uh, so, so now you guys know I am working on something and I think you guys will like it. I think a lot of you will like it and don't worry. It's not going to be all black. <laughs> I've already had, uh, conversations. Oh, there's one more element. Yes. Patreon will get the first look on it. Uh, there one more per in fact in fact i forgot to say that patreon if you are a patreon uh if you are a patreon sub either at the 5 or 10 if you're on our private discord um you will be able to see the entire thing of me going through the creation of this so i'm going to do all of the exercises that i've taught you guys or that i've showed you guys all the practices i'm going to be doing all of the homework that everybody else is doing so you can actually see the process of how I came up with it. So if you want to see the process of it, um, uh, if you want to see the process of it, you definitely, uh, <laughs> you definitely can uh, follow us on Patreon. So I'm going to be showing a lot of the previews uh, and just the work that's going to go into creating this on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash the casual. It's not up right now, but it will be and uh, you can be a part of that community. That's going to be extra cool uh, for Patreon subs. Uh, you guys will see a lot of that. Um, so yeah, Patreon will see it first. And Patreon will definitely get first dibs on the collection when it drops. Uh, so there's that. So yeah. There, I mean, what else would Patreon get? But you guys are also going to see it. So don't worry uh, if you're like, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Right. So there's that. Um, so, yeah. Um, and ladies, if you're a lady, um, if you're a lady, we are also making stuff uh, that's gender neutral and we are actually making some ladies stuff. So not just gender neutral, but stuff that is definitely for ladies um, that might come a little bit lighter. Um, but. 
definitely going to make stuff for ladies. Uh, so I'm going to be designing ladies gear too. Uh, I can't, I can't do it. I saw that, Alex. <laughs> you gonna, you gonna redact it, right? So yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna be making some stuff for ladies. So, uh, uh, you're gonna test the limits of my, um, um, gonna test the limits of my design, my design knowledge. Uh, so yeah, I'm not making yoga pants. <laughs> Uh, so, um, anyway, thank you guys so much. I'm, you know, I'm looking over here cause I'm looking at all you guys' questions instead of looking on the screen. Um, McFly, I'm not saying that we're making a kiss line. I'm not going to say that, but, uh, um, my lady, she's really interested in kids clothing. So she's like, I really want to do something with kids clothing. So I'm not saying that we're doing it. I'm just saying that, you know, there's somebody within my circle that really wants to do it. Alex, we need more videos. Alex de Valos, we need more videos. Anyway, guys, I got to get the heck off of here. I want to go ahead and thank you guys so much, Keezy, um, Alex, for you guys, you know, being supportive as long as you have, and everybody else that I'm not really, you know, acclimated with that I haven't talked to directly, but you guys are awesome. Um, I want to go ahead and um, thank you guys for your support if you're a member or if you're a Patreon member or whatever, even if you're not. Thank you so much for that. And thank you guys so much for your insight, your support. And we promise to get better uh, and more uh, more consistent. In any case, keep it locked right here for all of your info on international street fashion culture and business from Tokyo. It's your boy. You see how I can, I can just do that on the fly, right? It's your boy. And keep it casual. I'll see you guys in a minute. Ja, kyo wa kokemo. Well, I messed that up. Ja, kyo wa kokemo desu. Yoroshiku onegashimasu. You guys in a minute.